I started on the patches December 12th. So this May 12th will be five months for me. And I'm a really fit, healthy, 50 plus, closer to 60 than 50. Which is, <laughs> it's working, right? I hope. Um, so, first, 35. <laughs> so the first things is just so kind of nice. some of the vain things that go, you know, like, oh my gosh, my skin. I mean, I have been a skincare advocate for so many years. And literally, I think it was less than a week, like three to five days into it, I could just feel my, my hands and just, you know, then it, now it's just from head to toe, which is great. Um, another thing, Marcy gets a kick out of this, is I've been known for tenacious plaque. If anybody knows what that is, it's kind of a weird topic. But I always used to go in with my little utensil and play like dental hygienist, maybe when I was bored, I don't know. And I have no mm -hmm. plaque and I haven't since two weeks into using the patches. Um, hair, is, hair is growing, what else? Um, this is a really cool thing. I have progressive glasses. So I've worn glasses for years and I always put them on first thing in the morning. Progressive is something where you can see distance and close up, those of you who wear glasses. And I started um, taking them off when I would go to take my dogs out and to make coffee because I don't know, I didn't even think about it. It's just, I felt like I was seeing better without my glasses on. And now I don't even put my glasses on until I go to look at my phone, read something, get on my computer. So it must be distance that's improving. I'm not sure. So that's, that's really cool. Wow. And then the biggest thing is pressure. this medial um, knee that I have on the inside of my right knee. Um, I've taught Pilates and aerial fitness. I can't do this crisscross applesauce thing. My knee has bothered me for years. And I'm like, why is everybody having these great results? And why is my knee not repairing? Well, I guess I had some other things to fix first because right before Thanksgiving, I woke up one morning with this excruciating pain in my right hip. Now we're all sedentary, laying around. I figured it was because I was being so darn lazy. But for three days, my right hip just was burning. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go see someone. I woke up, that was Good Friday. Saturday morning, I woke up, it was gone. I got up and went on the longest walk with my dogs the day before Easter. And my right medial knee was not in any discomfort at all. You guys, my knee, now that's Easter, has not bothered me since then. Wow. Since then. Every now and then I get a little twinge in there and it says, okay, I'm still here. But this is something that was a problem for a couple of years. Could never figure out where it stemmed from. So Marcy, I don't know if you can, I mean, I think, I don't know what you call it when it goes to another place and maybe needs to fix that first to fix a problem somewhere else. Absolutely. I think that's what happened with the hip. Yeah. Maybe it stemmed from there and then yep. voila. So that's yep. five, that's, that was four months it took. So if you have anybody who's not patient, who says, I want it now, I want it now, I want it now. They got to stick with it. It just takes time. It takes well, time. 